If you've seen this tiger before, you've probably been lied to. This tiger went viral a few years ago for having Down syndrome, which caused obvious facial deformities. People love this pug-faced predator so much that they used him to spread awareness. Except, he never had it, and the truth was actually way worse. See, the thing is, white tigers are rare, like 1 in 10,000 type rare, and most don't survive longer than a year in the wild because if you can't camouflage, you're probably gonna starve. White tigers are also really popular for animal traffickers selling them on the very much illegal exotic pet market. Yeah, screw those guys, by the way. So the easiest way to breed white tigers is to have two white tigers hook up so their recessive genes can produce another white tiger. The problem is, well there's a lot of problems actually, but the biggest one is that because Caucasian carnivores are so rare, the ones they breed are often related. Which is how they get more inbred than a family reunion. Kenny the tiger didn't have Down syndrome. He was a twin cess baby whose parents were siblings and most of his actual siblings became past tense the moment they were born. The guy that bred him tried to lie and say he looked like that from smashing his face into a wall a bunch of times as a cub. Yeah. Kenny was rescued and taken to an animal sanctuary in Arkansas, along with his brother who was cross-eyed, because that's exactly the kind of thing that happens when you have an aunt mom and an uncle dad. The sanctuary took care of Kenny for as long as they could until he eventually passed away at the age of 10 to melanoma. It's a sad story, but it could have been worse. RIP Kenny, you deserved way better than you got.